Wayne from RealFixesRealFast.com. I'm going to make a classic mistake in the next section of this video. See if you can catch it and then tell me what it is. I've got a 2000 Pontiac Grand Prix 3.8 engine. The car came in and it's running pretty good, but it's got an intermittent problem. It's got a check engine light on. We had a code for engine coolant temperature too high, engine coolant temperature too low, two codes. It surges now and then, and the transmission now and then will shift real hard. Now the vehicle owner thought it might be a bad coolant temperature sensor, so they replaced that. So we know we have a new sensor, at least in it. We're going to use the scanner and look at the data. Okay, did you catch it? What was the mistake? I was being way too generalized with my assessment of the codes. My assistant did the code scan and relayed the codes to me. He simply said it had two codes, engine coolant too low and engine coolant too high. My mistake was not confirming those codes. Why? Well, they were the wrong codes, a mistake that many of us make by being in a hurry. The codes I thought I was considering was PO117, engine coolant low voltage, and PO118 for engine coolant high voltage. But the actual codes were P1114, engine coolant intermittent low voltage, and PO1115, intermittent high voltage. Now would that make a difference in how we approach the problem? The only difference would be in what kind of evidence I would be looking for and what evidence I would use to confirm the actual problem. Explain what you think those differences would be. All the codes were indicating a voltage reading problem, either low or high, but the word intermittent tells me to look for just that, intermittent evidence. I should not be looking for an open circuit or a sensor but instead a glitch or a dropout. You know, intermittent problems are probably the one thing that drives us crazy the most, trying to find them. One of the reasons they're so hard to find is we can't see them. Our limitations are human. Our eyes can only see so fast, we can only see so much, and our brain can only register so much. Sometimes that's where a lab scope comes in handy because it can see things faster than we can. It can look at more than one thing at a time. Even though a lab scope and a scanner are two completely different tools, often they both can be used to give you the information you need to properly diagnose the problem. In this video, I'll be using both a lab scope and a scanner that's displaying in the graphing mode. Okay, I've chosen the scanner mode. I'm going to go to engine data. I've got four choices. I'm going to make the first one, which is engine data. Now, it loads up all the parameters. It also has it set for four channels. Right now, all I want to do is concentrate on engine coolant temperature. So I'm going to go up here and choose just one display. When I do that, it's only going to display one parameter, which right now is RPM. Coolant temperature, you see, is down here. So I'm going to scroll down. Scroll down till I'm reading engine coolant temperature. It's reading 205 degrees and it's plotting it on the graph over here 205, 206, 207 it serves as a multimeter and it also has the min max feature right now in this few seconds we've been doing here the minimum temperature is 205 and the maximum is 207 it's going up and down up and down as it sweeps across the scope now I suspect here that we could possibly have an intermittent problem because right now it's not showing anything unusual. 205 to 207 degrees is kind of a normal operating temperature at idle. So maybe we have an intermittent signal. So how can we catch that? Now keep in mind, we're reading here, you can see it's stair-stepping up. It was 205, 207, 210 as the temperature's warming. Then you'll see the cooling fan kick on and it'll go back down. But what you're seeing here is min-max. In other words, the minimum we've seen in the few seconds is 205, and right now the maximum is 212. What I want to do is try and catch the intermittent. So I'm going to put it in gear and try and go forward and reverse, forward and reverse, trying to shake that engine, see if maybe we have a bad connection. 
But before we do that, here's the point of this video. Remember my mistake of generalizing the codes? They indicated low and high sensor circuit voltage or temperature. If I would have gone looking for evidence for them, I would have been looking for a voltage or temperature range problem. And this is what I would have seen. Voltage or temperature that appeared within range, normal. And I would have seen evidence of normal sensor values. I may have never seen the glitch. Think of the time that I may have wasted. But by focusing on the word intermittent and the right codes, I was able to see the evidence of intermittent. The temperature is just all over the place. Now, back to the video. So I'm going to put it in gear and try and go forward and reverse, forward and reverse, trying to shake that engine, see if maybe we have a bad connection. I've got it in drive, brake torquing it. Now if you look at this scope, it just dropped down. It took advantage that we dropped down to 145 degrees. You can see it right there. It intermittently dropped down. I'm going to brake torque it again. Now it dropped down to minus 13 degrees. And then it went right back up. Minimum, minus 13 degrees. Now you can see this, this is a current reading. We dropped down to minus 38 degrees. And if you look over here, minus 38. It dropped down to minus 38 and back up. So we're taking advantage of the min-max feature on your lab scope. We've got an intermittent, bad connection, bad sensor, bad wire. Don't know what it is yet, but we've got something that's intermittently failing. And when it drops down to minus 38, it's going to set a code. Now you can see right here, that's where I was brake torquing and I let the engine rev under load. The temperature is just all over the place. Right up in here we're reading probably, well we're reading 216 degrees. Right in here. Brake torque it one more time. Now, do you remember the original complaint? The car came in and it's running pretty good, but it's got an intermittent problem. It's got a check engine light on. We had a code for engine coolant temperature too high, engine coolant temperature too low, two codes. It surges now and then, and the transmission now and then will shift real hard. This explains the codes and the intermittent, but what about the surge and hard shift? How do we explain them? The PCM will most likely be going in and out of closed loop. That means the fuel will be going in and out of control, and each time it could easily cause surging as it does. And that surging could easily disturb the RPM and therefore affect the transmission shift points. Okay, so here's one more way to use your scanner, your lab scope, understanding how it works. Sometimes you can read a value and it'll tell you what it is reading right then, like 210 degrees or something. But if you stress it, if you brake torque it, if you're trying to catch an intermittent, it's nice to have the min-max feature and you can see it on the scope, you can feel it in the vehicle. So if you're looking for an intermittent problem, whether it be a coolant temperature sensor or any other sensor, if you want to go out and drive it or just brake torque it in your shop, look for those features. Put it under a load. Test it live. So now we know we've got an intermittent condition. The signal's dropping out intermittently. So we're going to go look for that and see what we can find.
To see where this intermittent fault was actually found and more diagnostics, please watch part two.